Now, meteorologist Carly Smith and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Yeah, this week we are looking at hot, humid and stormy conditions. So I hope that your air conditioners are ready to put in some work because we are looking at temperatures hanging out in the 80s and even the 90s this week. That's not even factoring in the humidity and your heat index. You can't expect a high around 91 degrees there on Tuesday. Looking at the humid conditions on our emoji muggy meter. Yeah, we're going to get some uncomfortable to even miserable faces as we head into Tuesday. So you can expect the very sticky conditions as you walk out the door. That also is going to increase our storm chances. We're looking at a chance of storms not only Monday afternoon, but also Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, and even into Thursday morning and off and on throughout the day Thursday and into Friday, we are tracking those showers and thunderstorms. A cold front is going to move through on Friday, though, so the good news is we'll get some cooler temperatures moving in just in time for the weekend. Today, we already were hot out there. 89 degrees was your high. That's uh, above normal for this time of year. Typically, we're around 85 degrees. The record high, though, 99. That was set back in 1901. Lows weren't too far off from normal. No rain today, but we did kick off the rainy period yesterday with just about four tenths of an inch, almost there in Dayton, just over four tenths of an inch on Versailles and through Springfield. We did get a brief little shower that popped up right over Montgomery County and tracked through Miami County, and now it has weakened there into Shelby County. And we're not dealing with any rain on live Doppler 2 HD in the Miami Valley, but we're watching some spotty storms that have developed out ahead of a weakening line of storms that's moving across Illinois and into Indiana. This line will continue to weaken as it moves into the Miami Valley or nears the border tomorrow morning. As you can see, the strong Longer section of this line is now taking a southeastward turn into Kentucky. Right now on our Goodwill Auto Auction camera, 79 in Dayton, very uh, high dew point, of, and that's going to continue into tomorrow. 72 year temperature in Troy, 75 in Springfield, 76 in Xenia right now. In your day planner, or night planner rather, we'll see 73 degrees there at 5 a.m., 72 around 7 a.m. Partly cloudy skies, a low chance for a spotty shower from that weakening line moving across. Indiana right now. 69 degrees will be your low tonight. Mild and muggy conditions. That's what you can expect as you're waking up tomorrow morning. 86 degrees will be your high humid with some afternoon storms likely. On future track, you can see a few showers that weakening line moving through overnight. A few showers may make their way into the Miami Valley, but most of us stay dry until later in the morning when we start to see those storms developing. We get some more daytime heat storm development likely by lunchtime that will continue off and on into the afternoon. Right now we're not expecting severe weather for the Miami Valley, but we could still wind up with a few stronger storms that could be producing some of those 50 mile per hour winds and your hour hour forecast again storms likely by lunchtime continuing into the afternoon may briefly cool temperatures down though a bit when we do see the stormy weather, but we're still looking at a high around 86 on Monday heat index values in the 90s 91 degrees are high on Tuesday. I do expect a heat index value to be pushing the triple digits. So we'll get a feels like temperature near 100 degrees, especially Tuesday and Thursday into the upcoming week. Looking forward to that cool down.